All right, welcome everybody here in Twitch chats and also on YouTube if you're watching this video later for another edition of Simic Adapt. We played this deck only just two days ago and got a five win league with it. And um, and so let's kind of run it back. Let's keep keep playing the deck. Um, it's been impressive for us uh, the last couple of times we've been playing it. Uh, so I want to, you know, kind of keep trying it out. Um the thing, the biggest thing I was worried about with the deck before, as I've, as I've mentioned, you know, I'm kind of saying the same thing as like last time we played it, because, uh, you know, saying saying the same thing about the deck. But our curve is is pretty high uh, with having the frilled mystics, the ooze, Vivian, Hydro Crisis. We have a, a very high curve, um, but so far it's been working out just fine with the land Elves and incubation druid early on to help us get to the that top end there. Um, the Hadana's Climb have been awesome for us beating Sultai. It's been like our like single-handedly beating Sultai for us. Um, so I've been really impressed with this card. Uh, but it's not a card that you necessarily want a bunch of. Uh, but it's been a, a good addition. Um, but yeah, let's, uh, let's keep trying it out again. It's a fun deck to play. Frilled Mystic is a really fun card to play. So is Biogenic Ooze. Um, and getting lots of mana with Incubation Druid and casting like big Hydroid Crasis or having your Vivians tick up and find a bunch of Frilled Mystics to kind of lock the opponent out. It's a pretty fun deck to play. <laughs> Real deck step curves. This deck has a larger than normal top end. Girl Spiral would be a pretty good fit in the deck. Um, but I don't really have, don't really have room for it, like all the stuff we have. All right, I think I got everything up there. Oh, this didn't work. Select that thumbnail. We can keep our hand. We can see like how good uh, Jade Light is here, how it can get us some more lands to help us hit our top end. Orzov Guildgate. That's not a card you see too often. All right, question. When do you side out climbs when playing an actual climb deck? Um, I would sideboard out climb. Hmm. I would like to. We don't. We just don't need to keep up for Old Mystic right now. Let's get on the battlefield. Uh, Jade Light plus Land Werewolf. Uh, sideboard out climb against removal heavy decks where you're not uh, necessarily going to have creatures for climb to do. Because, like, if your opponent's playing, like, a whole lot of removal, like, you know, counter spells and one-for-one -one removal and sweepers and stuff like that, they can just ignore Hadana's Climb and kill all your, your creatures, and your Hadana's Climb is just kind of, like, minus one card. Um, and so in uh, in that scenario, that's, that's where you don't need Hadana's Climb. I didn't live through hell. That can't help you now. All right, Font of Angels. Yeah, Blood Operative is is a, an interesting card with uh, absolutely with um, uh, with Font of Agonies. I Final Payment's not playable. I'm not I'm not putting Final Payment in a deck. Um, just you may want a little bit more Surveil for Blood Operative, like maybe Discovery. Um. Let's get another land drop. Meet my newest friend. Discovery also has something else to do early. Those are good cards, but I just kind of want the land. So if I go five, basically if I if I activate Incubation Druid, I only have four mana, so not quite enough to be able to ooze.
This is the black white precon. The banner. Raise the banner. All right, so the banner, you know, is a strong card. Give them Sometimes good card advantage, everything like that. Means retribution. I'm gonna just go ahead and get that thing out of here, and pass turn. Do I want to trade two jade lights for one of those things? No, not really. I'm just going to be holding up for old mystics while our biogenic ooze grows. Well, I'm still going to, like, if we don't actually Frilled Mystic, I have Incubation Druid to activate. All right, so problem is, though, I do not get to activate Incubation Druid and Frilled Mystic. We'll just do that. I could, I certainly could have J Light look for lands, and then if I, if I J Light and look for lands, I don't get to Incubation Druid. Yeah, that was my thinking, is that we could still Incubation Druid. Um, don't think I need a sideboard. Nope. Yeah, Melody can, can take something. Um, Melody on, like, the Resplendent Angel would be nice. Um... Melody on a Vampire Lord, like, at least gets the Vampire Lord off the battlefield. This is a lot of mana. Lots of mana. We should have turn three Biogenic Ooze. And hopefully turn three Biogenic Ooze wins the game. See if they got removal. <laughs> Your name's Simic Ascendancy and you want to be in the deck? Nah, Simic Ascendancy is just not, not worth it, unfortunately. So, Mercy, somebody right above you did the exclamation point decks. That's why it didn't show up. All right, opponent had removal. That means that Ooze is not going to win it for us, unfortunately. So this could certainly be certainly be tougher now. Uh, we've got to draw something else on our top end. But as we've talked about before, our kind of our whole deck is top end stuff. So I'm not too worried about drawing something else in the top end right now. All right, more mana. More mana. More mana. All right, so Hydrocrasis, Vivian, another Biogenic Ooze. Any of those. Yeah, I liked it. it we, did, we had a lot of good success with it. Um, we didn't really play against different decks. We just, like, steamrolled Mono Blue three times and beat mono red once and um, beat half of an Esper mid-range deck. They just conceded after we won game one. So we didn't really play the tougher matchups. The control decks with lots of sweepers, specifically Cry of the Carnarium, is usually where uh, it's usually something our deck can struggle with more. That is a good point. I can't play another Biogenic Ooze yet, so drawing another one would have made me sad. Because I would have tried to play it. 
Um, Call the piece isn't like anything special, but you know, helps us being able to attack with all these land war elves. Tilt. Three, six, nine, twelve, thirteen, fourteen. A lot of power. Incubation Druid's really good. Mana creature that turns into a 3-5? 3-5's big. So I no, so I liked attacking with Idus because I liked getting their blocker out, out of the way for our land of war elves. Um Nadus wasn't really doing anything else. Ooh. Well then. I mean, so I can flip the climb right away by putting it on a druid. But isn't this 3, 6, 9, 10, 11, 12? I mean, this is just... We'll kind of put it over here. We have lethal. Attack of the man creatures. Those things hit... Those things hit hard. It's nice to know when you just draw six of your eight mana creatures that they can just take, they can win the game on their own. All right, another good start. Basically, any time that we get to play Land of for Incubation Druid, um, right away on curve I'm happy uh, hands without those I'm much less happy did not want to draw another five drop here want to draw some spells sorry I meant I meant lands I said the wrong thing I meant lands yeah we had lethal a whole lot of ways we didn't not e we had lethal without even casting uh, Hadana's climb. We could have just attacked and it was lethal. Well, real bad for us. The opponent's got a real fast start with uh, the dubs grow spiral, and we have incredibly slow start of after keeping our two lander drawing five drop, five drop, and you know, whatever crisis is called. A million drop. At least a four drop. Four can draw you card. Yeah, it would have been nice to have that frilled mystic up. If we would have hit this land drop, I would have been able to keep I was just just gonna keep frilled mystic available. But explosion on druid for two. And I think we just concede. Not any point in playing the game anymore. Um, I right, need all these. Entrancing melody could honestly be pretty good. Um, I like you know they usually play Krasis, or I guess 
they don't have as many crazes. Never mind. This is the teamer version. So they're they're on Niv and um, entrancing melody and Niv isn't super likely. Um, you're gonna take out climb, familiar, and the growth chamber guardians or the biogenic oozes. Maybe just take out the oozes. The thing is, we have to end the game kind of quickly. Um, but I want to have like these early things to try to get on the battlefield early, and then have be able to have frilled mystic available. Yeah, we still have crisis at the top end. Yeah, I think we can take out ooze. Hope this works. Phage Lamba, Lambda. Phage, thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub. Let's get some hype in for our new subscriber. I really do appreciate that, Phage. Thank you so much. First sub of the day. Bam. Alright, this is this is better. We got our frilled mystics earlier now. Alright, so we had a question here uh, from Tizar. Uh, hey Todd, I have a quite a huge question. How do you make your sideboard? Do you focus specifically do you focus specific matchups or do you add all other great cards? I made an eye angels and I just feel like my sideboard is not great. Yeah, I, you certainly want to focus on matchups um, whenever you're making your sideboard. Just putting in putting in just you know some good cards into your sideboard is not is not uh, what you want. You want cards that um, when you play against a specific deck, you know that that card is going to have a big impact on the game. Um, so yeah, you want to be thinking about the other decks. You want to be thinking about the other decks in standard and mostly uh, and specifically decks that you, that you struggle with um, in standard as well. And Thinking about those decks and playing cards that are good against those decks. Ooh, a golden Hawkeye. Yeah, I like where your head's at there. I mean, I'm just like not countering anything with this Frilled Mystic. I kind of need to start playing these Frilled Mystics. Just allowing my opponent to... Would make their hand great. Bronson is, you know, doing its job. This is why I like having like Bronson or like the Growth Chamber Guardians things that early and not necessarily uh, the Biogenic Ooze that would take a little longer. All right, so no, no Niv Mizzet yet. I do like them just moving to discard and discarding. Wilderness Reclamation. Well, thank you so much, Phage. Alright, so they're kicking that. Let's play the Frilled Mystic. You got to top 500 Mythic for the first time today? That is awesome. Way to go. That's not easy to do at all. Way to go, man. Good job. Alright, so opponent's got a full grip. What do they want to do?
So if I negate this, they get to Sinister Sabotage it back, and then they get to untap all their lands with Wilderness Reclamation. What are they doing with those untapped lands? Do they have another Shivan Fire? Oh, now they, oh, I guess now they get to Explosion for four because it was Syncopate, not, not Sinister Sabotage. Now they get to, to Explosion for four. The wild wasn't meant. Draw and fire. When I was casting that negate, I was considering explosion for three of killing the Brontodon. Not explosion for four because they had the syncopate. Gosh, they have all these. No one knows the wilds like I do. Um. So they can attack Vivian. Uh, but if they do that... It's kind of tough for us. I could take another Frilled Mystic, but... I don't know if it helps us too much. Having another one. Let's get the Incubation Druid. We just can't even hold up counter spells for Niv Mizzet. We're just not winning. We're not going to win this. We can't. I can't handle them having just so many cards, basically. I have to try to... I have to try to fight their card count because they have infinite mana. They just have so much mana. There's a Reclamation. Please don't have Explosion. Right, Niv can't be countered. That's what I was saying was the problem with having just frilled mystics at where we're at. Alright, that's a good sign. That's a good sign. 
The wilds are my shield. I have this card or that card or like you know any of those cards that we put to the bottom last time. So if I attack, gosh, we're just so dead. One of those reclamations, messed up card. Mookie Bear with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Mookie Bear. Thank you so much for that Twitch Prime sub there. Sub number two on the day. Yeah, I could have sacrificed Vivian to, to get rid of like the, the Reclamation. Um, but I... I also just kind of need, I don't know, I need stuff. I, I'm going to minus now. Like, this turn I'm minusing. Um, but I, I didn't want to just kill Vivian. I wanted to try to wait a turn. Give him, like, the mana for a turn. <laughs> I have a huge collection of reclamations I need to unload. Yeah, that that uncommon, you know. There's a huge huge market for. <laughs> I was real bad. I was real happy for no changes because of that. Yeah, I absolutely love playing against this deck. Real happy. I always no survive. changes. You'll see. One and one. Uh, no. Well, I mean, well, this reclamation can go in different decks and everything. There's certainly not a card I've ever disliked more. I I really didn't like Teferi uh, last format. Uh, not like last format as in Guilds of Ravnica, but before rotation, like last summer and stuff, because like the untapping mana that Teferi could do and. Um, yeah, <laughs> Will This Reclamation just takes it to such a ridiculous level that it's, it's unreal that that card is printed. Alright, Mono Blue. Have been having, we have been having good success against Mono Blue today. Do I want to get the climb on the battlefield immediately? I think so. Yeah, let's get this climb out here right away before, you know, basically make sure that you kind of turn off, like, Spell Pierce, negate cards like that that our opponent could have. Um, we can double spell with the Growth Chamber Guardian and Incubation Druid next turn, where they're they're both good cards for Hadana's Climb. So I'm putting the counter on the Incubation Druid here. I want to be able to add a lot of mana next turn. And an, I wouldn't mind like adapting the Growth Chamber Guardian first and then Hadana's climbing the Growth Chamber Guardian. Make it, make it bigger, make it more difficult for them to deal with.
Um... Or alternatively, I could just, let's see, if I if I don't adapt, like if I do adapt, it takes up a lot of mana, I only have four other mana. If I don't adapt, I can play another Growth Chamber and have Frilled Mystic available. I guess if I do adapt, the Hadana's Climb will flip. So Hadana's Climb flips and I have 5 mana. I have just an awkward number of mana to have. Alright, I'm going to go no adapt. Another druid for more mana. Now with the amount of mana we're going to be able to have next turn, we'll be able to just start throwing down a bunch of Growth Chamber Guardians and really overload them. All right, thanks, Branch Walker. Have a good night. So it looks like they got a trickster coming on in here. just happen. I, I'll trade it for Old Mystic for the Trickster. Whoa, early chump block. Chump block. Yeah, I could have tapped it for mana, but there's just nothing really to do with the with the one extra mana. Um, I couldn't adapt the growth chamber guardian with it um, and the island. Like I needed to tap my incubation druid to adapt that either way. Hey, key with the one five reseven there for the fifteenth month. Welcome back, key. Thank you so much for that continued support. You are amazing. Sub number three on the day. Mm 
All right, so let's. Let's see. So we're flipping the climb. It's going real good. Going real good. Let's see. Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. Man, I'm one. I'm one off of lethal, of like making our opponent block the growth chamber guardian. All right, so they have like dive down. That's gonna protect their tempest gen anyway. Uh, I don't know why they dive down with their tempest gen. I wasn't hitting it for lethal. With them blocking like that, um, it's just pretty obvious that they're gonna have a dive down there. I don't think they can have lethal against us. I guess they just need an island and another Curious Obsession. I guess they, they could have had island plus Curious Obsession to attack us for lethal. Having the, the Winged Temple of Araska back to block, certainly an option. We should be able to attack our opponent with a whole lot of things um, next turn and be able to deal seven, hopefully. Yeah, they, they could have had a, a Terramander and wanted to reduce their cost of Adapt by throwing the Instant over there. I suppose. Oh, that's sub number four on the day. I was, I was behind one. I probably should have just kept the Winged Temple back to block. It would have certainly been the safer play. <laughs> Trickster is like the, the card that can beat us. Maybe. I've, I haven't done the math if it can beat us, but it's it's the one it's the best card our opponent can have. Trickster. That no attacking with anything, though, doesn't inspire me confidence that they have a trickster. Um, I don't really have any incentive to go all in with having Hydroid Crisis here. I just don't, just don't need to go all in at all, so let's just attack with these things. Um, oh, it is three. It counted Mookie Bear twice. Okay. So it was a double count. So it is three today. Gotcha. Thanks, Matthew. Um, mono blue, we want harpooners. Canopy, I suppose. Kill those Tempest Gens. Tempest Gen is a really, really good card. Um, giving our creature Trample. Could be heckin' nice. Frilled Mystic, unfortunately, is just not a card for this matchup. Yeah, Frilled Mystic doesn't do a whole lot. Um, you know, it does counter something, but it costs so much mana. And we don't have, like, a other instants to keep up. We're, we're going to be wanting to, like, tap out on our turn. Yeah, I think I'd just rather have Negate. Uh, it costs a lot less. 
and yeah, let's let's try the melody. Let's try to negate melody and taking out ooze. This is good after we wait a few turns. What else are we taking out? I guess Zagana. Maybe these Vivians. I don't know, we're just kind of cutting everything. Maybe I don't need Land War Elf. Familiars can be pretty important with the Growth Chamber Guardian, but I guess they're not good on their own. It's like, is this is this deck actually going to put up enough, enough pressure to win? I don't know. I feel like we may be too defensive. Uh, it's, it is good to pressure um, Mono Blue. Um, we'll, we'll see. Hmm. We have a Scry and we're on the draw. I think we have a green source in the top two. Ugh, not a green source. Green source. No, not you, green source. Wrong green source. Obviously, it's a big risk keeping this hand. Going to five is a big risk, too. Opponents had a good one. So, remember tomorrow, as you can see here on the screen, we're doing, uh, I'm going to be streaming three hours earlier tomorrow. Still doing the same uh, amount of time. Still going to be streaming for seven hours tomorrow. But instead of normal three to ten Eastern, I'm going to be doing noon to seven Eastern just for tomorrow. <laughs> Um, so I can have Growth Chamber Guardian plus Negate, or I just go Land of War Elf, Land of War Elf, Growth Chamber Guardian. Um, I want these Land of War Elves out. All right, if I play the Growth Chamber Guardian here, it's going to get countered. Um, Mul Light and Mulligan rule is certainly pretty interesting. Um, I think it can reduce the number of non-games that you have with mulliganing. And I, I think that it, it could be beneficial. I think it's I think it's great and limited. I think it's a I think like for limited it should 100% be the rule. And I think for standard most likely it it will probably be an upgrade um, as well. I am concerned about older formats, what it would do to older formats, but then again, I don't really play older formats. So I guess I shouldn't be too concerned. Um, Crushing Canopy is a little late. I know they have this Storm Tamer to sacrifice, but I hope that they cast Dive Down. Sometimes people just cast Dive Down and keep the Storm Tamer available like that. Don't get to, you know, if they would have just used Storm Tamer, then I would have been able to play Jade Light. Um, so I don't get to actually help my battlefield any, but at least we get rid of that big Tempest Gen. Yeah, I know we could destroy the enchantment, the Curious Obsession, but I mean, look at what our opponent has on the battlefield. We can't, we couldn't beat like the big flyers, so like killing the the Curious Obsession wouldn't um, wouldn't help us. Oh yeah, I, I guess I could have attacked for one. Yeah, I was just kind of thinking about the other turns and talking and stuff, and just didn't attack. But yeah, I guess I I left one point on the on the board there. Man, 
we need to play this crisis, but it's going to get countered. They're just going to draw more counters. Probably just playing too scared by not playing the Krasis. I was trying to bait out counters with those creatures. I guess now they could have Trickster. At this point of the game, with this thing, I, I am just uh, probably doing that. Uh, you can find the Judith deck here in the Stream Decker page. Um, you can also find the video of it up on YouTube. Mithrind with the Twitch Prime sub. Uh, welcome to the channel, Mithrind. Welcome to Valley Town. Enjoy all the really cool emotes. And thanks for the support. At least they're not stealing my crisis now. Ooh, no counter spell. Six. So they they can adapt that Terramander. Yeah, like they, they have five. So they do get to adapt that Terramander. <laughs> yeah, I know I know that that uh, Trump SC person from Hearthstone was saying the Valley Town stuff too. I had had that before um i don't know that's been my thing for since 2015 kind of thing i don't know maybe maybe, maybe he had maybe he'd been saying that longer i don't know so exactly lethal there seven eight nine we're at nine we get to block the two two but we're, we're taking nine um don't think i want to change anything and yeah, I like the climbs with this. The, the blocking can be pretty important. All right, being on the play, really important. Let's get our mana creatures. Let's get a fast start. That's a mana creatures, but it's not a fast start. Okay, this is mana creatures and a fast start, but nothing really to do with it. Bronzadon for Obsession is just too slow. It's just so much mana to deal with just a Curious Obsession. It's just not... And, you know, like, the the chance that they actually have Curious Obsession is, you know, not, you know, super high. Um, Bronzadon, besides that, like, doesn't get to attack through Tempest Gen or anything like that. It's just not... It's not a battle to fight. I want this down before they counter it, because it can provide um, good card advantage value, especially when we're chilling here with just the three cards. Forty percent to have it in opener. Yeah, so that's not that's not a very high percentage chance. So I think our opponent is wanting to trickster this Growth Chamber Guardian. It certainly feels like that. I 
We're gonna go ahead and adapt to that in response. Um, I just don't need to hold up negate this turn. You know, I don't need to like play an incubation druid and hold up negate kind of thing. I'd rather be able to have like harpooner and negate like the same turn. Like this is just a turn that I don't, I don't need to negate. You know, like like if they have curious obsession here, I don't I don't care. I'll just take I'll just let them cycle the obsession and have my four four on the ground. I don't need to play into their counter magic. We have a, a lot faster clock than they do. Yeah, there you go. Then, hey, Mithrand, welcome back. And I just had the the resub notification showed up twice again. Um, I guess I'll play this thing. I guess I don't really mind that thing getting countered. I do like growing the harpooner. Not want that to happen. This is how I feel. Um, I think I'm just fine just to put another four four out here. Let's see, let's attack with this four four. See, they just block and dive down, which is kind of likely. Hmm. Should I get Vivian on the battlefield or another 4-4? I guess Vivian. We can know we have Vivian resolve. This will help so us hit land drops. Can't stop nature. Yeah, no spell pierce. Real good for our negate there. And the opponent's in trouble. Only three cards in hand. They're in trouble. They already used a dive down last turn uh, just to save their trickster. So they have like another creature, I'm another not flyer. Everything again. I'm gonna try killing it with Vivian. Um, I currently live in Roanoke, Virginia right now. I'm from the Dallas Metroplex and I plan on moving back later on in the summer, maybe June or July. All right, how you doing over there on? Stuff to adapt, not very good. See what we get. Balance comes. Hmm. 
I want the land, but I mean, I got just gotta take Krasis. And we got this one. They need to like be attacking Vivian. I, I'm not going to be blocking at all. I'll let Vivian take four. Um, I'm just going to keep all my things out because they're at nine. See, that is perfect. It was 80 degrees in Fort Worth a couple days ago. That is perfect. That's what I like to hear. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Um, let's go attack in. You grew up in Carrollton? Okay. Carrollton's a nice place. Upper tapping with the tapping double green. So we have Jade Light in our hands. But oh well. Sure. Kill a flyer. Why not? Just hit Mythic first time. Feels good, man. Very nice. Hide. Way to go. <laughs> what is 80 degrees in a measurement that actually makes sense? <laughs> um, it is warm, uh, but not really hot. I don't know the exact conversion to Fahrenheit. Um, but it's a nice sunny day. 26.6. Or sorry, sorry. Conversion to Celsius. Sorry, that's what I meant to say. So 26.6. That's what 80. 26.6. According to the word on the street in Twitch chat. All right, nice opening hand. Turn one land war off. I will take turn one land war off all the time with blue and green. And mono blue yet again. So much mono blue. This is our fourth time to play Mono Blue, and this is our ninth match, and fourth against Mono Blue. A trickster what do they want a trickster all right this time I know last time I, I uh, activated in response but this time with me having the Zagana I just want to play the Zagana and get this down I know I'm not drawing a card but whatever it's a it's a four four um, and I just want lots of four fours on the battlefield I'll give the girl chamber guardian trample as well No blocks. Um, if I play Jade Light, they can counter Jade Light. Do I just go with that? Or do I just make this a 4 4 and get it, grab a 2 2 out of my deck? Which they can't counter. Let's do that. Because now. 
because making this a 4-4, it's just like the nice clean math of putting them down to 12, where three more hits from these are lethal. I mean, I do think that Mono Blue is in a worse spot than it was um, at the time of the Mythic Championship Cleveland. Uh, I think it's just a more popular deck that's that's on people's radar more, and people have more people have their decks either designed or tuned more with it in mind. But it is a good deck. With all that being said. Yeah, the tap the growth chamber guardian because that thing has trample. So do I want to play one ooze or growth chamber plus jade light? Kinda wanna go growth chamber plus jade light. The oozes will have trample because of Zagana, but they'll just be three threes for next turn. But if they they didn't block, if their plans like to attack back with tricksters. Yeah, we could. I guess we could Vivian kill the Storm Tamer too. Um, but then then Vivian's gonna die to stuff. Is Vivian kill the Storm Tamer worth it? That's probably not worth it. I think just getting big things on the battlefield's worth it. And I, l I like Jade Light Growth Chamber. This is the, the best chance of like activating this Zagana. Um I do want a four three Jade Light. I don't want to draw this card, so I want to put this in the graveyard. Um but it's whether I want to just go library first, then graveyard to make sure Jade Light's a 4-3. Or just graveyard immediately. Yeah, they've already used two tricksters. It's kind of unlikely they have more. Let's go graveyard immediately. Alright, that worked. That was good. We got to put them both on the graveyard. All right, they had the big boy. Ugh, didn't get this land. Really wanted this land for Zagana. Z Zagana's adapt. Um. So not much decision here. Attacking on in. Yeah, needed one more to turn this into an 8-8 trampler. So I really wanted. More creatures with Counters do have trample, so that's an extra one point coming in here if they make that block. Yeah, they have one card in the graveyard. That Terra Manor's not adapted. Yeah, they may have dive down. Um, what? They're just taking both of these? That's that's just eight right there. Do they have like a one mana bounce spell? A 
one mana opt. Zero mana bounce spell. Hmm. Not a zero mana bounce spell either. Hmm. Well, at least their trickster's still alive. Alright, so Melody, Negate, Harpooner, Canopy, Frilled and Ooze out. Um, familiar out. And I think I want one Vivian out. I think I want to keep the Z Zagana. Zagana. Let's do that. So one difference from last time. I think I like Zagana here. So I'm going to keep the Zagana instead of the third Viv. Familiar is... I won't be bringing him out against, like, Sultai and other, like, crown creature decks and stuff. But these fast matchups... Uh, the 2-2 the two -two body isn't uh, as impactful. It's not good against aggro, not good against control, but it's good against mid-range. Zagana, that is. Um, we've seen Growth Chamber Guardian be really good. And it, it is a really good card to have on turn two. Turn three, we're adapting it. You know, we got our 4-4s. Four 4-4 fours. Four four is good. I think I can keep this. Climb is good. Um... So that's what I was gonna. I was gonna be saying that either we're, we're likely to draw either blue source or mana creature, um, and either one of those would have been would have helped us out. But no, climb climb is certainly good. Um, climb makes attacking for them really difficult because like climb on defense is pretty insane in this matchup. Um. Attack. So, can you climb best of one with a guild gate deck? I think so. I think people play gates in best of one. I don't play best of one myself, so I don't want to necessarily say that you can. Yeah, I don't want to give a false advertisement there but I believe people do pretty well with with gates and best of one you know I think it's four color gates with like deafening clarions and gates and gates of blaze in the main deck entrancing melody is an annoying card What if I double block? No more promise, no more sorrow. Not sure if that was that good for us, but Leaves our opponent with only three cards, and we have a lot of cards. <laughs> Basically, we have a whole lot more cards than the opponent. We got mana. We have, like, this Kydroid Crisis that'll be good. Not letting them have, like, this big attacking thing. All right, do I mind if Climb gets countered here? So basically, do I, do I want to, like, Shock and hold up Canopy or play the Climb? I think I'm going to let the Climb get countered. If they have it. Oh, they did not have a counter spell. That resolved pretty quickly. Your best of one gates deck run revitalize instead of growth spiral for the aggro. That makes some sense. That does make some sense. Um. Let's start doing this. How this come to me? Ugh. Man, I just want infinite crises. I guess.
I wanted to land. Well, now they got a 1-3. And more mana. Not sure what they can do with it. Mono Blue doesn't usually need it. Mana 6, 7, and 8. That's a good card. Um, that's a convenient spot for us, too, how we get to minus Vivian to try to kill it and have Crushing Canopy available and have the two mana for Druid, because I kind of wanted to play Druid anyway instead of Krasis, because I, I want like the Druid to get the extra mana with the Hedonis Climb. And so it just gives us an excuse to play the Druid now. said restoration was painless. So just gonna chump block with this land or elf. Keep Vivian alive. There's a land. I've seen things that would break someone like you. Crazy should be able to take this home. Yeah, Vivian doesn't have the best lines, the best voice lines, for sure. I think it's. I don't really like Teferi's voice lines either. I don't, I'm not sure if it's because we like we hear them so much, but Teferi's just like speed up, slow down, all that blah blah blah. It's pretty whatever. You can't stop nature. Yeah, opponent can't stop nature. All right, so we'll make it uh, easier for, or like we're, we'll make this next crisis even bigger. We'll see if they actually attack. It's really not a good attack. It's really not a good attack. They did it though. If they don't attack, we're we're spending our mana to adapt the um our other O2. Hey, easy. Alright, three and one. Yeah, Vivian Teferi are the best Planeswalkers in Standard, yep. Yeah, Vivian could have could have destroyed the the enchantment on the Krasis. Um, but if I would have and you know, could have killed the, the Tempest Gen with it. The thing is if I would have minus um I would have minus Vivian, then Vivian would have died because it had three loyalty. Yeah, Deep Freeze like makes it lose flying as like that ability, but then Hadana's climb grants it flying afterwards. It's kind of weird, but. I don't know, it works out. Truth Bruce was pretty good. Um we we just faced mono blue a whole lot. And you know, did did real well against mono blue. Um 
with the deck. So we didn't really get like a a good variance in, in the games. We just beat Mono Blue three times and beat Mono Red once. Um, dang, I was hoping to draw this land and get to Biogenicus here. Instead, we're going to be climbing. I don't really love the attack. They have like, I don't know, if they have a Jade Light, I can like double block a Wild Growth Walker. I guess we're go. I guess we're going for it. Cause you know, like they if they explore, they just get to gain the life back and get to attack with J with their Wild Growth Walker, and it's kind of like our attack didn't do anything. But I mean, it still does four damage. So if they're going to gain the life, they're going to gain the life. So, um, still attack for four. With us like trying to flip climb. Four points is still four points. Ralph seems like a disgruntled postdoctoral researcher. That's not so good. Now they just have Frilled Mystic available. That is kind of really not so good. Alright, so if I play Krasis for four, put a fifth counter on it, I don't have lethal with it. Let's go Ooze. Ooze kind of means we don't need to play more things. Like we don't like if they just keep frilled mystic up, I can just uh, activate ooze. I put the the counter on the the biogenic ooze because I didn't want to. Um, I wanted to get north north of finality quickly. Oh, right, now I don't get to flip this, but I will get this attack in. Alright, so if they, if they, these two cards, if these two cards cannot deal with Hydroid Crisis or Hadana's Climb, the Crisis is going to kill them next turn. We get six. Or, I mean, it's five. Alright, whatever, five. Because next turn, Hadana's Climb, that, that's what I was counting for the six. Hadana's Climb puts the sixth counter on it. Um, we flip and can deal 12. So, All right, well, that's a blocker. Also, because I'm up to 14. Yeah, this deck's fun. Yep, this is a good one. Um, yeah, let's go to combat. I don't want to just crease this for seven again. Yeah. Oh yeah, I, I guess I could have just attacked the token if we would have pumped the use. I mean. Getting the getting the counters on these tramplers is like really nice though, because like the those things can get really big and trample and stuff. That's why I put the counter over there. But I think I should have just attacked with the four four anyway, because uh, the four like into their uh, creature. Um, I like pumping the hydro crisis, but I think I should have attacked with the four four. All right, so in this matchup, all I did like last time was like bring in Melody and take out Familiar. But maybe I shouldn't be taking out the Familiar all the time. Poor Familiar. Can I take out Zagana? I think that was the sideboarding I did the last time I played this though. It was that right there. 
Um, maybe I take out Sagana and keep Familiar in. Familiar with the Growth Chamber Guardian can, can do some pretty silly things. Let's do that. All right, what do we got? Two lands and some stuff. I like two lands and stuff. Ugh. Why does that have to be a tap land? We could get ran over. We could certainly get ran over. That's a good sign. No lands, that's a good sign. All right. Um, man, I want Biomancer's Familiar in play. So it's, I think I'm either doing Familiar plus Elf or Jade Light plus Elf. And I guess I'm gonna have Jade Light plus Elf. That was a very good Jade Light. You know, Divination Jade Light that and that trades with Branch Walker. That was just the best Jade Light we could have. Because Jade Light was going to be trading with Branch Walker either way. Uh, now they got the best Jade Light, so... We got Lucky Jade Light, and then they get Lucky Jade Light. Fair game. Um... Let's us be able to keep Frilled Mystic available on this clutch turn or activate Druid. Alright, Phage. Have a good afternoon. That is, that is why it was a clutch turn. I'll just trade. I don't mind them. I don't really want them to, to finality. Uh, I don't mind them casting find and getting those things back. Um... All right, so I want to be as good against finality as possible this turn. So that'd be three. All right, let's go ahead and just pass. I know I'm not getting like a whole lot of creatures out, but it's possible our opponent casts finality, and then we can kind of blow them out by only having finality kill the familiar and the land war elf. That thing's kind of big. It's not really that big. It's just kind of big. Let's have this thing adapt again. Make that a 6-8. It's bigger than their thing. So 
going to attack with Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian. Let's put some pressure on them. Boom. Hit him for six, hit him for six. They're at six and they scoop it up. That's kind of sad whenever your your big carnage tyrant is just a whole lot smaller than my two drops. Hey, what's up, Zexian? Stream is going awesome today. We have had some real good games. So far we are nine and one on the day. We are nine and zero oh against non-Wilderness Reclamation and oh one against Wilderness Reclamation. All right, let's go to our final boss fight. Here we are, we are four and one. So we don't have any losses to give, no extra life. Uh, we have we have Jade Light Ranger in the deck, but I don't have the other Explore package stuff like the Branch Walker, Wild Growth Walker. Uh, because of kind of what you saw there, that game, um, Incubation Druid and Growth Chamber Guardian are pretty strong cards in their own right. Um, I have those cards instead. This hand's just going to be too slow. I'm not liking this. And if we had two blue and we know we were playing Frilled Mystic, then, then you know, maybe we're talking. But it was just like the one blue. I like this hand more. Kind of like the land though. Um, I don't. These are like Ars Arsenion. I don't. I don't really know what you're. I mean, I do play decks made by myself all the time. That's what I that's what I do. I make I play decks that I that I make. That's like my thing. Um Like all, you know, we have the donation deck, but these other three decks were decks I put together. Um, so we have three, four, five, six, seven. So if I if I play the crisis this turn, it's only crisis for five. Um, I can wait a turn and have a lot bigger crisis. Well, let's see. If I wait a turn, it'll be six, seven. It'll be a crisis for seven. So it's just drawing another card. Our opponent missed a land drop. Maybe we just get this crisis for five going. Now let's get this thing in play. Just have both of these be able to block those tithe takers. You know, I want the crisis to draw another card instead of draw two. Uh, thanks, Chaser. I'm sorry to hear that you had the one of two fever yesterday. That's that's pretty bad. But no, I I don't um Yeah, I Yeah, Arsenion, these were all decks I put together. Um I don't I don't play like the, the tier one decks too much though, because those are just decks you can find everywhere else. Uh four, eight. So yeah, now we get to six. Do this for six. And draw three. Uh, is Boros any good in the metagame right now, or would that be wishful thinking? I haven't seen very much Boros recently. I mean, it, 
there's probably a way to build a Boros deck. You know, it kind of depends on, you know, how you build it. So... So I can play another really big Krasis. But then if they have like the Tribunal for like the one really big Krasis, maybe they get like some kind of good attack. I don't, I don't even know what that attack would really look like. I think I want to just get a lot of bodies on the battlefield. And I'm going to shuffle before playing... I want to shuffle before playing the Jade Light. Uh, before exploring. Zeeg with the Twitch Prime sub. Welcome to the channel, Zeeg. And this is why I want a lot of bodies. Thank you so much for the support there, Zeeg. Um, yeah, they can have a flying creature. That doesn't matter. 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 15 damage coming on in. Put us down to 8. I guess the thing about playing the other big Jade Light is that would have... Allowed us to have lethal. Or I don't have lethal now. Alright, so if I... I guess I want a Krasis for 7. I want to make sure that both of these Krasis is... Well, they're going to gain life and everything, though. They're just going to attack in and gain a bunch of life. Um, let's do... Uh, let's do Krasis for 6. And be able to have all these blockers. And, of course, I have to manually tap these things so they don't use my Incubation Druid. Then we'll have we have the five blockers, and after blocks, we can have the this druid uh, adapt to this growth chamber guardian. Oh, tithe taker! Right, I can't tithe taker. I'm not gonna be able to adapt on their turn. Another march. Gross. Um. All right, so certainly getting punished for not you should surrender now. getting punished for not playing the other crisis. I was a little overconfident. I should just play the other crisis. From the will of many, the might of one. Yeah, you can see what March can do, though. March is in incredible. All right, so this can block that thing. This block over here, this block over here, this block over here, this block over here. If I do that, I'm taking 4, 8, uh, 10, 12, 14, and I'm at 11. That's taking 13. That's taking 12. Uh, I can't take less than 12. Yeah, so I'm, I'm just taking lethal. That's the most I can block. Uh, 
No, I've never made a Storm of the Vaults deck. From the most recent sets? Um... Not sure. Uh, obviously, Night of Autumn. I'm not sure if there's anything after Night of Autumn printed. Hmm. Yeah, I need. So I need to follow up Crisis with Crisis. I don't have a sideboard for this matchup. This is just one that I don't know if we're going to win if our opponent has that kind of those kind of cards again. We just kind of need our opponent to stumble for us to win or us like take over with climb. Negate's probably my best card of how it can counter March history, uh Conclave Tribunal, Flourish, Huatli. Counters a whole lot of their deck. Um the problem with Negate is Tithe Taker. It's kind of a problem. Frill Mystic is like really expensive for being in a gate most of the time. And the body not being very good. I could see playing just negate over Frilled Mystic. Vivian is also just not very good. Let's go three negate two entrancing melody. Actually, you know what? I think oh no, they play Tristani. Let's get Brontodons in. So I kinda wanna take their two drops and make like you know, taking their creature makes their uh convoke worse. Uh something like taking an Amaro would be nice. But maybe because of Tristani, I just shouldn't be doing that. So I put in a couple Brontodons because of Conclave Tribunal. Um, and it's a good blocker. No, I haven't made a Chromatic Orzov deck. Let's see what you got here. How are you only playing three Chromatic Lanterns? How can you not have a fourth chromatic lantern? I, mean, I guess you don't need it, need it. Mm. Did not get to jade lighting. Final boss too hard. This matchup and mono white aggro are these are the two worst matchups for our deck. How they get to go really wide and really big. I uh, just don't have the interaction um, for these decks. You know we don't have sweepers at all in in these two colors that are worth playing. You know like rivers rebuke, it's not a card that's worth playing kind of thing. Um, I don't expect to win this matchup very much, like, very often. This and Mono White would be the two tough ones, but thankfully you don't see these two matchups too often. Instructable formation card. Last game and this game, it's been really broken. 
you know, this card's not good when your opponent's playing a lot of interaction, a lot of removal. They're, like, killing your things. This this card can get stuck in your hand. Against our deck, where we're not doing that, this card just, just absolutely dominates. Um... Absolutely dominates. I think I could have won the first game though by playing back to back. Crisis. The flood the board plan was not a good plan. In hindsight. All their creatures were indestructible last turn. So blocking wasn't very profitable. Oh, I guess we, we had our 4-3 that could have blocked a 2-2. Two, two. Oh, right. Oh. Yeah, I could have avoided 2 damage. Oh, my bad. Oh, that's a good card for them to draw. That's a good draw. It's a really good card to draw. This puts us down to two. If I Krasis for two, I go to three. Basically, can I survive if I just play Jade Light Land of War? Um, if I just go Jade Light Land of War, we have four blockers. They have five attackers. So the answer is yes. Let's do that. Um, I just have some Vivians for enchantment removal, which we had to explore a Vivian to the graveyard earlier when we were stuck on lands. Yeah, that two life has been is pretty important here. Uh, never mind, it's not important. Not important at all anymore. Those are two great top decks: Conclave Tribunal and then March of the Multitudes. Two great top decks. And of course they they did that before I could negate. Smart. Wall is tapped out. I have no sweepers in my deck. Alright, four and two. So I did learn a lesson with that that game one. The unbreakable formation was not really a card I was considering too much. Um, whenever I played out my creatures, you know, I played out the creatures instead of the second Hydroid Crisis, and then they went March. The, then they went and step March into Unbreakable Formation to gain millions of life. Um, you know, really punishing me for not having the second very big Crisis in. Um, so yeah, so. Still another successful league with this deck. Um, you know, we went four and two. That that's still pretty good. Um, especially you know being four one at a time. Take that win percentage four and two all day. Um, but I know before when we played this deck, model white aggro has been a struggle, and tokens is the same kind of thing. Those those two decks are going to be problematic for us with their ability to go um, really tall, really wide. Rivers, Rivers Rebuke is just not good enough. Uh, I've tried Rivers Rebuke 
in this deck early on, earlier on in the format against Mono White, and it just wasn't good enough. And I, I just don't think that would be a card I'd, I'd really want to play. Um, even that game, game two, where our opponent had had a really strong draw, and we had a really terrible draw. We were almost in it. Like, if our opponent doesn't draw March of the Multitudes, we could kind of stabilize. Um... So, there we go. That's, um, no, sleep is just not, no, it, no, sleep's not, that's not a card. It, no. Um, yeah, it's, sleep is, like, only good after you stabilize and if you can attack for lethal. Um, it has a lot of ifs to, for sleep to be any good. Uh, yeah, Rivers Rebuke I was just talking about there for a little while. Um, so there we go. So that's Simic Adapt, um, another good league for this deck. So if you're watching this uh, later on on YouTube, don't forget to hit that subscribe button over there. But thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.